is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. 11 affirming code four. I'm gonna head up to this burglary call, one of the smaller uh, Mexican restaurants up in the uh, northeast uh, portion of town. Uh, there might be somebody stuck in the building there, and uh, I guess there's a, a window that was smashed out uh, to the front. Copy. Can you see if we can ascertain a license plate on that vehicle? Copy. The suspects are all two away. One is two away in a black BMW, one in a gray BMC truck. The suspect with a gray BMC was possibly armed with a small cell phone. X-ray 16 confirmed on a window smash. Is there a canine working tonight? Was it smashed the front? Yeah, look at the cash register, though. Oh, wow. Okay. Drawer's gone, who knows? There's just a real small window. Yeah, Caesar and the dog are coming up right now. Hey, Caesar, how are you? This uh, this was smashed out right here, and when we go around back, there's uh, looks like they tried to get out the back, but there's two really good security screen doors back there where they can't get out, and uh, you can see the cash register in the back through the uh, the oh, screen right. doors, and it looks like it's all broken up. Well, you can't you can't get. Oh, they got customers there too. Um, you can't get out the back, right? Mm -hmm. There's only way in. Um, Can you squeeze your dog through there? Well, I'll send him in there and see what happens. <laughs> well, please, come on, set police dog. Well, please, come on, set police dog. There is somebody yeah. in there, huh? Good boy, fast! Fast, fast, fast! He's in there? Fast! Yeah. He's got him. He's got him. Somebody's in there? Yeah. yeah. Fast, good boy! Hand us to Caesar. Hand us to Caesar. Make sure, make sure That's mine, Caesar. Hey, okay, so somebody's got to come in here. Fast! Oh, oh, Let me see your hands! Of you. Yeah, it's like a double cylinder lock where you need a key on uh, both sides, so. We're just gonna have to figure out how to get him out of here. This was sitting just inside the broken window up there. But it looks like he uh, brought the cash register back here and got the drawer out of it. And it looks like it's all broken now. What are you guys talking about in there? He's saying that his buddy works here and he was in here drinking with him. I was like, well, that doesn't make no sense. Oh. And then he oh. would just scream and hold his hand. But did, did you hear that, Daryl? I guess he tried to get, make it out the back door when the dog was back there. Oh, and I really? guess when the dog... Stabbed him went straight down. As soon as uh, he tried to get out the back door, the dog got him and brought him down. Sure. Where are the cervezas that they took? They brought us a bottle. Where are the bottle? Well, he said he well, now his buddy was going to go get some more beer, so he locks him in there. Hey, I, 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 I,
It's about 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock that he started drinking. I think they're open at that time. Yeah, they probably are. <laughs> so he's trying to come up with some of his stuff. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, by the way, it was his buddy's day off. They got here at 7. Oh. So now it's 7. <laughs> Hey, Joe! He was definitely somewhere where we couldn't see him looking through the windows. It's a little bit of money here. This is this is where the guy got bit? Yeah, right here. Right here, huh? Joe! Here's his hat right there, so... Joe just made a phone call to one of the employees here. So the guy that he's saying that works here doesn't work here. Oh, he doesn't. There's no Enrique... Uh, All that females that work here. Oh, wow. Drunk and just passed out. Probably just gave up. Yeah. Try to run so I didn't hear the announcement. Probably, he's probably just saying, you know what, I'm just going to sober up a little and then I'll <laughs> crawl my way back out that front window. When you got in here with Caesar, this is where the guy was laying down? Yeah, right there. See the little one. Yeah, those, that's like uh, <laughs> blood from his leg. Right. This is where he got bit. This is part of his money, too. Yeah, and his head was up here. His head was right here. He had his arm oh. wrapped around this. And the dog was trying to pull on him? Yes. So as soon as Caesar secured his dog, I was able to. Put him in Very good. So off to the hospital for him. Yep. Have his leg checked out. And it's off to county. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff for maintaining the head in. Understood? The mouse will go to the hospital to get the cure in the leg. Is that bien? Okay. What were you saying? I told him uh, he's being arrested for burglary. Yeah. And, and uh, as soon as they uh, you know, wrap him up and all that, we're going to go to the hospital and have a doctor treat him. Good deal. I can't think of anything else in the world that I want to be doing. This is, uh, this is a job I love. My heart's in it. I got family members that are cops, and it's a great job. I'm a patrol guy. I like to patrol his own. Uh, I look for suspicious incidents. Uh, I do some traffic. Um, criminals got to get from point A to point B. Uh, they're usually driving cars. I'm going to stop this car over here. It's got a brake light out. Let's get with the driver, see if he knows what's up. 206 or so, 1050. Indigo 23, yeah, and Baker coming up on SR5. 1050. How's it going? Yes, All right, you got a license? Yes, sir. You don't have a license? Yes, sir. Step out of the car for me. Why don't you have a license? Uh, just because I, I don't. Turn around, put your hands on top of the car. You have anything else you know about? No, sir. Nothing? No, sir. No, 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 I shouldn't. Okay, for right now, I'm just going to put you in handcuffs for my safety and yours, all right? Yes, sir. Just relax. Anything in the car I need to know about? Any drugs? No, I got some prescription drugs. You got some prescription drugs? Yes, sir. Where are they at? They're in a bottle. They're prescribed to me. They're in my glove box. What kind of... Drugs, what they're, kind? They're Roxy's. Roxy's. Oh, but I'm sure I have a prescription there. They're legal. Okay. They're, uh, you ever been arrested before? Yes, sir. For what? For uh, possession of Xanax, sir. For possession of Xanax. Do you need an ambulance? No, I'm sorry. I mean, I was just going to get checked out. She's just having leg pain. Seen her legs hurt real bad, and that's. How many months pregnant are you? Eight. Eight months pregnant? All right, just sit tight for me. Just get, you know, we'll sit right here in front of my car, okay? okay cool. Sit right there in the bumper. All right? You're under arrest. Don't go anywhere. You understand? Uh, yes, I'm not going nowhere, sir. Okay. I'm not trying to run or nothing out, but we, I just had to get her to the hospital. You want to step out for me? You sure you don't need an ambulance or anything? No. You have any labor pains or? No, it's just pains here. It's not like labor pains. It's Get it out. Okay, is there somebody you can call that could take you to the hospital? There's somebody you can call right now because she's going to be tied up here for a few minutes. You ever been arrested? Um, a while ago. For? Uh, possession of paraphernalia. There's no, no, no other drugs in the car? I'm not going to find any marijuana, any pipes, any stems, any nothing? You're kidding me, right? 
in a bottle like that, it's got no name on it, no nothing. How do I know this is yours? I got, is my rest papers in there? Because they had it on it the other day, it just wore off. Just worn off. But... Just worn off? I just got arrested three days ago, sir. For what, possession? For not for, the, no, the, I had those with me and they seen that it, the, it was on there, the label was on there. When, when... What'd you get arrested for three days ago? For, for possession. Possession is on it. Okay, so. But though I had those and the, the label was good on it then. I know, the papers are there, though. I know. I had them. I had them there. Come so on, thank you. I had the. I have the papers that say that I'm prescribed this. What are these? I got. I got them at the same time, sir. My the other bottle. I just carry it in my pocket. And what about this? Two oh six. Okay, get another unit, please. What else am I gonna find? That's it, right there. That's it. That's okay. It. He told me just the drugs. Now I find a needle. That's for my my other one. My doc, I can't eat them. Uh, my doctor told me I can take them how I wanted to take them. Oh really? So you can crush them up, burn them, and inject them? I don't. I don't. That not, I don't. I snore them. I don't even. I don't inject them or nothing. That's so. That's, what's what's that's the not, needle? Not mine. I don't even, Where'd you just find that at? Right next to the pill bottles. That's right. I know exactly whose that is, sir. It's, it's, that's not mine. I know whose that is. Uh, whose is it? Your wife's? No, it's not hers. It's, it's this guy Paul that I, I had in my car last night, sir. Do you want an ambulance? Okay. Basically, it's been arrested before for possession of uh, controlled substance, and uh, upon further looking in the car, I found the needle. Hypodermic needle, it's used for injecting drugs. His girlfriend or whatever she is, she's pregnant. So I'll see what else I'm gonna turn up in here. I'm sure I'll find something like this. It's another piece of paraphernalia for smoking marijuana. Come back here, you're gonna sit in this car for me back here. Come back here with me also. I'm gonna have this female deputy check you, make sure you don't have anything hiding on you, okay? He's good. Just check her. All right, he said you can have the car, so when the people get here, whoever... Uh, Do you know what his charges are going to be? Yeah, he's going to go for driving with a suspended license with knowledge and also possession of paraphernalia. And do you know how much that's going to be? Uh, it's probably going to be about 1000 I don't know what the bond amount's going to be yet, okay? And then whatever's in that needle, I'm going to send that off to the lab to get testing. And... Oh, there's something in it? Yeah. You know, being around the marijuana and the kids isn't a good thing. You know that, right? Someone needs to make a smart choice here. I'm not going to sit here and try to preach totally to you, but, you know, I mean, I... Situations are different. But if, you know, the kid doesn't have a choice, you have the choice. I mean, this all could have been avoided if you were driving with a license, you know? You need to straighten your life up, all right? Drugs is not the answer. I appreciate your cooperation and your honesty, all right? All right, guys, this is what we're doing here. We're going to execute a low-risk search warrant over at this uh, crack house where they've been selling to us. Afterwards, if while we're there, some uh, potential buyers show up, we'll have two undercover agents in place to sell to them. Uh, they're going to give the takedown signal when a purchase is made. We'll move in for the takedown. The main emphasis, again, is being safe, using cover and concealment, contact, and uh, cover person will we'll designate at that point when we're there. All right, let's get this done, and let's uh, I'll be safe. Being in the narcotics unit, we want to uh, not only just target the high-end distributors, but also tackle the low-end dealers like we're going to do today. It's a quality of life issue. Every neighborhood wants their neighborhood to be safe and be clean. All right, we're approaching the target house right now. All right, Doug, I'm with you. Let's go ahead and move in. Doors open. Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Everybody. Hey, keep that in the ground. 
Now, right. gun in the ground. Come on. Everybody out. Right. Holster your gun. You are, pal. Don't even move. Let me see your hand. So just hold on. All right. What did you get so far? Anything? So far, nothing. It, it, it would appear that they have to re-up. I think what one of them even said. They're out? They're fresh out of coke? Yep. Okay. The only thing that we came across was paraphernalia. This pipe, we can only find one pipe. Copper, wire mesh, spoon. Or paraphernalia, so chances are they needed to re-up before it. they started selling. That's it. When we came here, luckily they were out of material. Correct. They are actively selling them. Let's go see what else we can do here. Lady in the Green is the one that uh, has been selling to us for some time. She actually looks familiar. I think she's been other places selling. What do you think about this lady selling crack out of your house here? I... Make I... you mad? Yes, An it does. invasion? Police had to invade your home? Yes. Well, what do you have to say to her exactly? Find a new place to stay. That's what happens when you try to help people out. They were living in the woods. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we're out. All right, thanks. They're bringing up some more. That was a supplier? Yeah, that was it. That she said she's bringing more. And they're coming through? Yeah. All right, so let's get set up and we'll go ahead and do it. All right. Uh, what we're doing right now is, while doing the search warrant, uh, we received a call from the actual dealer that provides for this house. Oh, no, here's a white one. White car pulling in the driveway. The white car is pulling in right now. Cover the driver from the middle of the car. Me and Ramsey are going to approach the driver and take her out. Now. Go, go, go. Sheriff's office, let me see your hands. 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 Put your hands up. Get out of the car, dear. Get out of the car. Oh, the car. He's got a kid in the back. Put your hands on top of the car now. Put your hands on top of the car. Come over here. I haven't done nothing. I have not done nothing. Just anything. do not resist. I'm not. Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Search her. It's commonly referred to as a cookie of crack. She had it on the floorboard, obviously stepped on it or something. It's all broken up there. There's some more on the floor here and the ground outside. She came out with her. Here's the bag that it was in. I don't know what else we'll find after we search it completely. Let's go talk to her over here. What were you doing here? I came to see someone. And what? And that's that. And that's that. You came to sell drugs, right? I came to see someone. What did your friend, this is very important, what did your friend know about what was going on here? Absolutely nothing. You're sure? I put it on everything. So it's all your fault? Your friend didn't have anything to do with this? No, sir. How irresponsible of a person would you say that you are, that you brought a four-year-old to a drug deal here in Lake Worth? Very. What are you doing here? She's been my friend for the longest. She picked me up. She was supposed to go take me to go get my nails done. I had the certificate in the car. I had the money to go, you know, to, to pay for the tip. And I go to school. OK. I don't deal with that. I've never sold drugs in my life. None of that. OK, I'm 21 years old. Have you ever been arrested before? Yes, I have. Before? Well, one, like, I, you know, I'm going to be honest. I was um, addicted on drugs when I was, like, two years ago. I had powder or whatever. I think this conversation is pretty much over. If you're not going to be cooperative and tell us what we want to hear, then this is nothing what more to say. What are you going to do with my kid? This Come on. is not fair. Come on. Hey, Sarge, what did you find in the car? All right, this is what we found inside the car here. You get a good amount of crack, marijuana. Looks like a half of a Percocet. Two-year-old child. She claimed that she didn't know anything, but she ended up being in possession. There's no way that she didn't know all of this was in the car. All right, and we're going to charge her with aggravated child abuse. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and charge her. We're going to open a case from the Department of Children and Families, and uh, both of them are going to go to jail for possession. All right, excellent. Good job. Waiting right now for a delivery of another two ounces of cocaine to this household from a uh, supplier. Okay, they're going to pull in the main driveway right in front of the house. Those are by my truck. They're pulling in. They're parked right now. The passenger is getting out. He's walking around. He's in front of the house now, walking around towards the side door. Um, you guys might want to get ready. He's almost to the door. He's going to take down the house. Take the car. Take the car. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Spread your feet. Spread your feet, your feet apart and listen to the man.
Young man, come here. Let's talk here for a second. You take responsibility of the things that you just did here? Huh? You want help for drug addiction? I don't, I don't do that. You don't do it? You just sell it? I don't sell it. Well, you were coming here to sell it, right? Yeah. Well, that's selling it. But I didn't know it wasn't mine, though. What do you have to say? I feel stupid. $1,600 worth of some cocaine for somebody, and you're going to ruin your life over it? You ever been arrested? Yes, sir. For what? Um, control, control substance. Oh, drugs. Here you are again, coming to sell to an undercover agent. I feel for you, my friend, but you're going to be going to jail, you know. I understand.